Bunch of evening, guys. It is evening. It's a bunch of afternoon. It's afternoon right now. Look who's here. Baby Papa Giorgio. The calmest child the earth has ever known. Now, I did order a costume, but it never came in. It's not going to be here until Tuesday. What did you get? It's just a shirt that says 404 error. Costume not found. You can make one of those. I'm, I have some iron ons. I might have to. You could have. <laughs> what are you working on over here? I'm gonna make a pot of chili, but I'm gonna a pot of a chili. Big, big pot of chili, but instead of chopping everything, I am going to um, chop it in the food processor so it gets really quick and easy. You know what I'm saying? And then over here we have a big pot of vinegar cooking up on the Keurig. No, I have to just go like that one. That's one last. Cycle. Rossi, yep. you're on vinegar duty. Is, Papa George. Vinegar in there, is it? No, I think the vinegar run. The vinegar's out. That's right now it's like just water. Four that was four things like four batches ago. So Papa Giorgio did an experiment for us. He tested out our peppers on the plant and they are not hot. Nope. At least he I says they're not. I don't trust them. I think he's making it up. Heat and my level of heat are two very different things. I don't know. I think he's playing with us. To yeah, they're good. The habanero is like a bell pepper to me. It's like an apple. No, I'm not yeah. Doing that. Maybe they're ghost peppers and he's pretending just so we learn. They're really not bad, I'm telling you. They're so hot! I couldn't taste any heat. You lie. You, I, you lie. I want to share a project with you. So I need, for my new makeup room, I have two shelves going up, but I need like um, the base to be gold and I couldn't find any. So I'm going to spray paint these myself. And I'm also going to spray paint some picture frames with gold. Now I'm going to do some that's like regular gold and this is the kind that i'm using i've used this before and i really really like it it's like a matte finish it's not like real shiny and then the others these two i'm gonna do this like copper finish which is really really beautiful so okay i'm here at the nursery doing it because as you can see i'm kind of outside the area is ventilated and i don't want to do this in the garage because it'll spray paint the cars <laughs> so i'm going to show you what they look like when we are oh and these are going to be this color so wish me luck she's singing about her leftovers she loves leftovers leftovers i mean when you've got these this. delicious things in the fridge how can you so what we have here is cauliflower gratin mm -hmm. doesn't go together at all and i'm not gonna say it right i say china masala but that's china not right. masala. china masala which you guys can check out real soon both of these on mm -hmm. www.com you know what i need what do you need i'm excited I think I need a shed. You need a shed. Yeah, Where are you gonna put in your shed? I would like to start doing a lot more canning. You're gonna then do that in the garage. And then I need a really well. That's for my storage. I want a shed for my storage. Oh, you want to store it in the shed? Why don't you just store it downstairs? And then I want to put too much stuff in there down there. I don't what know. What I really need. I don't think you should be storing cans freezer. in the shed. Can you just give me my freezer in the garage then? My real big one. I did get a big freezer from a school, you did. and I never brought Can it. Can we get it? Yes. Oh, the things that could freeze. That's true. It would have to go in the garage because it's pretty loud and it's pretty big. I don't think you'd but be able to put it in the garage. Be, if it's in the garage, it's perfect. Because that would be really, really helpful if you have a big freezer in the garage. And then I want to get a small Let me ask you guys. Now, how many of you guys have like a spare refrigerator or a spare freezer out in a garage? I grew up with one. I grew up with a freezer. My Nona has one in her shed. Yeah, I think it's like a really common thing actually. So my dad oh, had... So weird. Wait a minute. Turn that back around. Oh, it's, this is what happens when you wear sweaters. It makes you look like a, you're in a box. You're in a box. When I grew up, we had a separate building with refrigerator and a freezer at my dad's house. And then at my mom's house, she always had a freezer down in the basement. A big, one of those real big chest freezers. Oh, like yeah. um, the one that lays, like sits low on the ground. You lift it up and you can um, load it up. Nice. Yeah. But the one we have that I never brought over here is one from a school. It's like a double metal. It's the same kind you'd have in like an industrial kitchen. So I'd I'm like to get it over here, but I got to find out if it works. I haven't even tested it yet. It worked. You plugged it in. You got it. No, I never tested it. Did. Nope, never plugged it in. So what's up with all the spice jars? You running out? Well, I had needed to use a lot of them for my chana masala, but I'm making a list of the things I'm low on. Yeah, we're gonna get a refill here. Yeah, I need to, because a lot of the things, I can get a lot of them at ShopRite, but a lot of the ones, um, first of all, I prefer to buy them in bulk because I use spices so much. Mm -hmm. I prefer to buy them in bulk so it's, you know, more cost effective. And I also like ordering them from a spice company because they're really, really good. Yeah, they're fresh. They're very fresh. I, don't know what, I think it's just called My Spice something. Where My I get Spice them from. Sage, I think. My Spice it? Sage, yes. Yeah. And then also things like coriander seeds, cumin seeds, um, garam masala. It's hard to find a shop. They're hard to find a shop, right? So. Does it drive you nuts that some of the labels are white and some of them are clear? Oh my goodness, yeah. I'm also going to get rid of these eventually because um, the problem with these jars is that they're too small to get a spoon in there. 
Oh, I never thought about that. They're yeah, you need like a special small. spoon. So you need a special spoon and it can only hold a really small amount. So if any of you know of the perfect spice jar, please yeah, let me know. Let I tried know. using little um, mason jars, but the lid is separate from... Yeah, like, then it's something that's that's all connected. So when you go exactly. to close it up, it stays together. Exactly. I think I know exactly what I need to get. They're actually they're for spices. They look like this, but they're wide and they're shorter, but they're bigger. I just need to like figure out how I'm going to store them because they're bigger. But I think that that would be that would make more sense, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Because I can't get a spoon in there. It's a pain. Unless you have custom spoons. I use espresso spoons, like little tiny spoons. She's very focused, guys. She's very focused. Oh, and she's stealing her own food. Got a muffin tin and stuffing. Can you guess what's about to go down? I'm in lab. Actually, you know what we should do? We should go get the bowl of trick-or-treat candy, and we should all chow down. What is going on? Watch it. You're going to stab yourself with that knife. <laughs> all right, so... Um, Honeycrisp apples from down the street. Yeah, what happened to my tropical ones? I got apples that they're called... Um, you what was know, it? I might have used them in other things. I think I you did. Know. I saw you using them the other day and I said, are those my apples? And you said, no, they're a special kind. I don't remember the name. It's called, um... I should have told you to... Well, we'll be going to shop right tomorrow, so you can grab them. Because I'm really interested to see... Yeah, it says they have a tropical flavor, and I don't know what that means. Because sometimes they do some weird genetic things and make apples Which taste different. I don't different. like that. Well, maybe this one just happened to be a non-genetically changed one. I don't no, know. You know how like Mayor lemons have a weird taste of mm -hmm. like orange and lemon together? I was thinking maybe that that was the deal with the apple. I'm gonna find out. I gotta go find, uh, gotta find them. I'll just go get more. I think you just need to get more because I can't, I'm not sure where. They were an exclusive, it said, from California. A certain company makes them. Well, you know more than I do. For anyone who is doubting it, a stuffing muffin. That's there it awesome. is. All right. I can't Anything wait to else? have these. I'm digging in, I'm having them for dinner tonight. I'm having Thanksgiving early. We always do. We always have Thanksgiving early because we film. So on actual Thanksgiving, that one makes me make pasta al forno. And you know, so, I like it. and your dad too. Ooh, same thing. It. He doesn't want turkey. To be honest with you, I mean, I'm not doing the turkey this year for Laura in the kitchen because I've got. That's true. We got a lot go of good to turkeys. My classic Thanksgiving turkey or my. Um, Is that the pomegranate one? Uh, no, it's cider. Cider glazed. Cider. Turkey. Why did I say pomegranate? That the was the ham. Right. Um, they're both. Just fantastic, and um, they're two of my standards, and I make them every year. I make one or the other because they work really, really well. I want to do a brine of turkey. Well, we but make. To be fair, we make them when Sal's not here. Yeah. You make them when Sal's not yes. here. Yes. I want to make a brine brined turkey. But the problem with the brined turkey is that um, you can use like a, a pre-frozen turkey that you buy at a grocery store because it's already injected with a saline solution, a salt solution. So you need to buy a fresh turkey, which is not a problem for me because we live in farm country, but it might be a problem for a lot of people. Oh, did you know there's like a turkey shortage? At the store, it had a sign on there that said, we're not taking orders for turkeys this year because of the mark current well, market I'm condition. I'm doing them a favor. We're out of turkeys, we're out of pumpkin. What's going on with this world? So we got these little shelves we put together. Laura did the painting. Now, if anybody wants to recreate this. I showed them the kind of paint I use. I got those at Ikea. Do you go, so when you go to Ikea, anywhere really, that you can buy the, 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 stands, the stands and the shelves separately. If you can, I know Ikea definitely has them because that's where I got them. Get the wood ones because if you're going yeah, to definitely use holds the, the paint spray nicely. paint, it sticks so quickly. And also, um, it's a lot more forgiving. Because All if right. he leaves any bumps or anything like that, the wood's like grainy, so it's... But they turned out fantastic. And then the screws, you're probably not going to have gold screws. But uh, what we did was we learned the hard way. Don't put spray paint in a Dixie cup or whatever the red, you know, the red like party solo cups. Cup, whatever it is. Solo cup, that's the one. Don't put spray paint in those cups that ate the bottom out and started dripping everywhere. Luckily, Laura was able to catch it. Unfortunately, it got all over her hands. So... We took a, like a little makeup brush and just painted on there. You want a very fine brush. I think I should do another coat though because it's still showing through. I'm put this one here because everybody needs to be reminded to laugh. Everybody should laugh. Light. People need to lighten up. Laugh. And then I have a really cute um, gold one that I painted that I'm going to put pictures of us in. So I think I might do this. Yeah, this is looking this really cute. Here. I might put it off to the side and then put the two little ones of us here and here. I like it. Like cute, right? And then my jewelry thing is going to go here once I paint it white. Love it. Me too. I love now, it. Now I'm going to get my, my tiny girl. Yeah, you know, the thing's held together with Allen keys. And if anybody out there has ever gone through this, you know my pain. When you move, and you have to take your bed apart, and you have to find the right Allen key, it's like you have everything except for the right one. I guarantee you I don't have the right Oh, that's like way too big, and that's the smallest one I have. So, yeah. Well, what's this one? 
Oh, look at that. Yes. Look at this. Just look at this magic. Watch. It's so good. I mean, I really... Mmm. Mmm. That's right. I need to Instagram this. This is too pretty. Too pretty, folks. Mrs. Vitali works magic. Look at this. Meatballs made in a crock pot. But if you want to so learn this, good. you know where you got to find it. Coming soon at... It's like a mixture of... Look at that. Oh, I gotta go take a photo. It looks so good. It does. It smells like chicken cacciatore. It's not alcohol. Okay, so this is something we have to try. I'm gonna say it wrong. I can say it. No, I don't know. No, it's not after Schweile, but I was hoping it was. We got it at Ikea the other day. It is Drick Bubel Peron. Anybody want to correct me on that? With a phonetic spelling? It's pear and apple juice beverage of some sort. We got it at uh, Ikea the other day. Uh, we were hoping it was Alpha Schweile. It wasn't. They don't have an Apple version with the Fizz. At least maybe our Ikea doesn't. Maybe yours does. If it does, let us know. I'm going to dig in and have some of this. Mm -hmm. And we're going to try... Oh, I found my apples, too. I found my... Um... Oh, yeah, you did. They're mm -hmm. right there. <gasps> Alright, so I found three out of four of my apples. The fourth one went missing. I think a certain somebody took it. And these are called Pinata apples. And we're going to find out after we have dinner what they taste like. Oh, look at this. That's a cool shot. We get to see the apple, and we get to see Mrs. Vittles. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we're going to try this. This is called a piñata apple. And we're going to see if it tastes like a piñata. Or whatever you would think a piñata apple would taste like. It's all the rage. The sign made it sound I like... I like that. I don't know. So we've got three slices now. We can all try it. You know, I've never used a piñata Here you go, darling. Before. No? I see them at like every kid's birthday party. Would you it's like to try the piñata apple? Try it. Grazie. Tastes like an apple. <laughs> I get it. Yeah, it's a little sweet. No. Wanna try it? Why is it called pinata apple? What's the point? I mean, I would rate this as like a, it's definitely a nine on the scale of flavor. It's like sweet on the outside, slightly tart on the inside. Well, it's a day late and a dollar short. My uh, Halloween costume showed up. Error 404, costume not found. And I guess that's like double irony, considering it um, wasn't found when I needed it either. I even tried to track it, and guess what? Couldn't find <laughs> <you> it. Found. <laughs> you wanted to cancel it, but... Well, it was too late. Yeah, they had shipped it. Tracking number wasn't available. And once it's shipped, you can't cancel the order. Yeah. But it said it would be here the 28th. Never showed. Did you see what I did? I know. Pasta I on pasta the shirt. All right, she's on a mission. She's going to try out the apple no. apple pear. No, it's not a cork. It's not a cork. It's okay. You'll survive. <laughs> I remember All one right. time, um, you know I don't like that thing. Remember that really uh, made my, my stomach jump. Well, it still made a noise. Well, I'm sure. Wait, so does this have fizz in it? Yes. It does? Yeah. It smells like apples and pears. That's right. Well, that's what it says on the bottle is apple and pears. That's enough. Okay. I need to get some water. I'm dehydrated. Oops, I dropped some on you. Yeah, I need more. I didn't have enough to taste, so it's okay. I don't want any. Why do we have three? Because we're gonna try it. Apple juice. It's fizzy apple juice. Fizzy apple juice. I never liked it. It smells good. It smells like. <laughs> All right. Ready? Hold on. It Cheers. It smells like cleaning liquid. It so does. I didn't want to say it. Oh, this is really my sister. I didn't want to say it, but I totally mm. thought the same thing. It definitely smells like cleaning Delicioso. liquid. Delicioso! I didn't even try it. <laughs> Come on, try it. Come on, no, try it. I'm nervous. It's good. It's very mild. No, it's it's fine. It, it tastes like cleaning liquid. It's very mild flavored. I'm having some water. I'm going to be healthy. It's good, though. How do I work this thing? Darn it. Darn it. No. What did I just hit? I would give this... It's like an Afishwile with pear. You know, it tastes way better than it smells. It does. If you don't it smell it, it like first, it smells like cleaning product, but it actually smells definitely like, tea, like try it. Smell just not try it. the best taste. It's yeah, very good. If I it's spit it out, Isabella, you know I'm real p I'm picky with things like that. It tastes way better than it smells. Yeah, it's like it an apple like pear soda. A sparkly pear. <laughs> yeah, it's, it tastes good, but it smells really like a cleaning supply. I can't describe yeah. it. It's very good. I would say that this is up there with the apple, which um, this is mine. No climatic. Why am I short? So one? you're short one. So we're how? doing a schedule here, guys, because this week, starting on Thursday, but I'm trying to figure out how. 
Starting Thursday, we will be on the road filming a project that uh, will oh, consume yeah. the rest of the month. So starting Thursday to basically the end of the month. And so we have to do all our Laura in the Kitchen stuff now. And we have to get our schedule together, get the editing and the uploading ready to go. And right now it seems that we don't have enough. Well, we have enough, but we're trying to figure out um, what the schedule is going to be. Anybody want the rest of my apple? I'm good. I'm so full. Right. This is a pinata that I never had as a child. <laughs> Well, it is a pinata apple after all. All right, guys. Well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go get this video uploaded. I'm going to go upload tomorrow's uh, Laura in the Kitchen episode as well. We got a lot of cleaning up to do because we've been in like full force filming mode around here. And obviously, we need to order more spices as well. I did already. Oh, you did? I also okay. some Madagascar vanilla beans. I can make oh, vanilla yeah. Sauce. That's great. I haven't done that in a really long time. I used to make my own vanilla extract all the time. And then I kind of got out of the habit of doing that. And now I'm bringing it back because it's really easy. I'm going to share it with you around the holiday season because let me tell you, they're the best present ever. It is. Does. That's a pretty good idea. You, you might pack up all those, those the, uh, the homemade ingredients as a gift pack for somebody. It's just, I have a bunch of ideas I want Very to share thoughtful. with you guys. Because I think it's always... No matter how much money one has or how much time you have to go shopping, I'm telling you, when you do something from the heart, nothing beats it. Best stuff on earth. All right. Now somebody do something from the heart and bring my Nana here for me. Let me call it right now. All right, guys. I'm so tired. I don't know why. I'm very tired the last couple days. Well, let's see. It's midnight. Is that right? Did you fix that one? Oh. See, that one changed. Okay. Hold on. Well, let's see what the real time is here. No, I didn't. 11.57. Yes, you're correct. It is midnight. All right. I'm going to go upload this video. We'll see you guys in the next one. Give us a little bit of love. I don't know what this week has in store as far as um, if we have anything interesting to show you. But I will tell you, if you stay tuned, you'll be able to see the whole thing once it's done. See you guys in the next one. They... they Man, this is good. They, What's it called? They don't come out of the shell that easy, and that's what the problem is. Because you know the whole process is supposed to be for taking the you know the chestnut out of the skin easily. Well, listen, I don't know what you guys are talking about. Working for you. Pile.